He he's able to paint any situation with a bright brush. It it's remarkable. Everything becomes a positive. That's just the way his brain works. If I can say it. <laughs> yeah, but look, the, 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 I know like you got traded last year. We're the same agency. Like you got traded last year. You didn't know what was going to happen in OKC. Right. To go to go there. To be healthy, let's take a, let's take out the COVID and the break and all the bullshit. We're going to talk about that in a second. But to go there and get second team All NBA and lead that team to the fifth seed, nearly take out the Rockets in the first round. I would imagine that's probably at the highest level of expectation you could ever muster. Going back to last summer, I mean that's. That that was unexpected across the board for the league. Now, maybe you thought that was all possible, but yeah, but you know, I'm like I really am wired different. Like as long as I'm on the court, you know what I mean. I, I don't care who it is, <laughs> you know what I mean. I just don't care who it is. And once I got to OKC and I seen the guys, like okay, Dennis, all right, he's a problem. Like Dennis Schroeder is a problem. Shea was already nice, right? Then we had. Um, Gallo, who was just a consummate vet. Like, I'm serious. Like, everybody be like, oh, y'all didn't think y'all was going to do this, man. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, we did. And that Houston series, you know that that whole, like, man, y'all took them. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. Like, we I knew that was going to piss them off. Right. Tommy, I knew that was going to piss them off. Right. Like, it just... I don't know, man. It's it's a game, right? It's like if you're going to play Connect Four, you're going to play whatever. You know what I mean? As long as you only got five guys on the court. You got seven, we might be in trouble, but like we, we're going to figure it out. And I think that was the thing that hurt bad when we lost game seven against Houston, right? Because the guys on our team didn't expect to lose, like, for real, I don't care the rookies or anything like that. You know, everybody be like, oh, they're young. They, who cares? Some of that team, when I was in New Orleans, when we felt like we should have won a championship, that was 08. That was my third year in the league. Sometimes it's better to be young, so you ain't thinking about nothing else. <laughs> I think that team, the Oklahoma City team this past year, they reflected your personality in a way. I know that maybe sounds weird, but like that team, more than any other team I've watched you on, allowed you to be you not just as a player but the person you are the leader you are i think it was like the right mix of guys for you does that am i am i off on that does that make sense that makes sense because we was just like everybody was scrappy everybody played like with a chip on their shoulder you know what i mean and then we had a guy like lou dort you know what i mean like to just lou like Every day it'd be something. We'd be talking to him about something with defense, but he just played hard. Just played hard. And then, you know, if you got somebody that play hard, shoot the ball, Lou. Like, shoot the ball. And I, was it game seven when he went crazy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he like 32 or something like that in game seven. Did he? Well, all, yeah, all I remember was like game six or game five or six or something, and they was backing off of him and he wasn't shooting. And I was about to kill him. I'm like, Lou, we're not going to find a better shot. And then if you got a guy like that who plays his heart out, right, he defends every single night. If we lose a game because he didn't miss, like, a bunch of open shots, I'm cool. I'm so cool off that because, Bugs, no. Like, you got a guy that lay it on the line like that. I, I'm Shoot the ball, man. 